Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I've had a lot of customers asking me, especially now that we're in, into winter, can you run your furnace off of a solar generator? Well, yes, you can. So I'm going to go over it. I'm actually running our furnace right now off of the EcoFlow Delta Max. And I'm going to go over some specifications with you, the temperatures we were at. I ran it the other day. We actually ran for a full 15 hours. And I'll give you the, the temperature setting in the house, the temperature when we woke up and at the end of the day, just to kind of give you some ideas. And keep in mind, we're in Canada, so we're not even in the cold winter months for us, but this will give you some ideas. So all we've done is, and make sure if you're going to do this, have a qualified electrician do it. Um, what we have here is a standard male 110 plug-in. Uh, there's a little bit of electronics that had to be done, or some wiring that had to be done inside the furnace. But just plain and simple, there's your plug going into the EcoFlow Delta Max. And what you would do is if there's a grid down situation, or basically, uh, let's say you wanted to run this anyways, just as a test like we're doing now, you'd want to turn off your breaker for the furnace. And that's what we've done. So give you an idea. First, the furnace that we have running right now, it, it's running at its highest setting. So we have a Carrier Infinity 96. It's a 10 year old furnace, runs beautifully. Um, what the 96 means is that this is, it's a high efficient furnace and right from their website, that means 96.7% efficiency rating. It's a variable, variable speed blower, meaning a two stage furnace. And right now, normally it runs at the low stage for 90% of the time, but this is actually a really, really good example. It's now running at the high stage, which would be 10% of the time. So give you an idea of the wattage being consumed. So this is only going to be probably two to five minutes each time. I don't even think five minutes, two to three minutes probably. But we've got just under six, 645 watts being consumed. In the low stage, it's closer to 120 watts. And then obviously when the furnace isn't running, I didn't see any wattage being consumed, even though we have a Nest thermostat that we're running as well too, because that will consume a little bit as well. Now, to give you an idea, like I said, we ran this the other day for 15 hours. When I woke up in the morning and I plugged it in, I looked at the temperature outside. It was minus 16 Celsius. We're in Canada, so I say Celsius. But convert that to Fahrenheit. That's Call that 3 degrees Fahrenheit, just for easy math. I think it's 3.2. Uh, the rest of the day, it, it slowly crept, uh, crept up. But by the end of our test, it was at minus 4 Celsius, which is, for easy math, it's just under 25 it's 24.8, so let's just call it 25 degrees Fahrenheit. The house, now what we had that set to, uh, the internal temperature was set to 22.5 degrees Celsius, which is 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, here we go, this is good. Now you get to see, and I'll show you on the screen here, it's about to creep down. The two-stage furnace has just gone down to the low stage, and it's still creeping down. It's just below 160. There you go. So now, like I said, that wasn't even... I don't even think that was two minutes that, that ran for. Yeah, two, maybe three minutes. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, yeah, we're just over 100 watts. Usually it's about 100 to 120 watts 90% of the time. So it really doesn't consume a lot of power. Now, the main reason, like you can use a lot of solar generators. You just got to make sure that you're going to be able to go up to, let's say, well, it depends on your furnace, but minimum 700 watts. So when the, the two-stage motor is going, that the higher stage will be able to run it. So reason I really like this EcoFlow Delta Max here is first, it's only 48 pounds. Like it's next to nothing. Unless you've got a serious back injury, uh, anybody can lift it and move it around. So it's really, it's definitely portable and deployable. The other thing is, let's say you've got a rolling blackout situation or a grid down situation. This will be able to be powered from the wall from zero to 100% in less than two hours. That's phenomenal. Like that's, that's amazing that it's that quick. And same with if you have a generator that can produce, let's, let's just go easily, easy math. Let's say 2000 Watts or more, which most of them can, then this is going to be able to, uh, to be able to run off of that, a gas powered generator in less than two hours, you'll, you'll be charged from zero to hundred percent. Uh, there is an optional, it does, or not optional, it comes with it. They have a cigarette lighter plug-in. So you can actually run this from your vehicle. It's only 120 watts, so it would take a while. Uh, you would be looking at uh, just simple math, call it, oh shoot, you'd be 18, 18 or so hours, something like that, 18, 19 hours as a guess. Uh, because this is the battery pack here. It's a 2016 watt hour battery. Here, another good example. So the furnace just cut out and there we go. We're now down to zero watts being consumed. The Nest thermostat, which is being powered by this, 
is prop because it's there's no batteries for that so it's it's hardwired in it doesn't even show a watt being drawn so but either way yeah that's kind of cool you got to see all three stages um the other reason i like the the ecoflow delta max is you can add an additional two battery packs so each of them are 2016 watt hours so if you choose to you could actually have this set up uh with what is that 6048 watt hour so that's that's a lot of watt hour and in the if you're in the U.S. and you're in a warmer climate than where we are, well, then theoretically, you should be able to run your house for, it could even be double that amount of time based on your temperature. Oh, and by the way, the square footage of this house, it, it's, it's a smaller house. It's 1,200 square foot up, 12 down. So it's not a huge house. Bought the house for the yard, not the house, even though it is a good house. But either way, <laughs> they don't make yards like this one has anymore. And then to me, that's more important than anything. Uh... The other thing about this is, if you want to charge this, this uh, Delta Max from solar, I'll give you an example. We've got our, our 200 watt solar blankets here, which are you know lightweight and portable and deployable, which is pretty much the premise behind everything we do. Three of those combined in series will easily charge this guy up in, let's say, three to four hours in perfect sunlight. We will be doing a video, not to go on a segue here, but in the next little while, I've got 4,000 watts of our solar blankets going on the roof of the garage. And we will be doing a video. I'm creating five charging stations, two 800 watt charging stations, one 1600 watt and two 400 watt charging stations. So we will be able to power five solar generators simultaneously. Uh, I, yeah, just to do it. Because what if things get worse in these wonderful, interesting times? I want to be able to provide power not only to run my furnace because winter's here and I'm in Canada and we're not even in the, in the cold temperatures yet. Uh, I want to be able to also power the fridges, the freezers, all of that. So like I did have also just to be on the safe side, we did um, have it wired in. And so we can run a tri-fuel generator, even run off the the pro or the natural gas line. But at the end of the day, if things get really interesting out there, you don't want people to hear a generator running. It's just, well, that's my way of thinking. It, it just wouldn't make sense. You wouldn't want to draw attention to yourself. And then the solar blankets that we're, out, we're adding to the roof, they're actually designed to blend in with the black shingles we have. So again, specific not to, uh, to draw attention. And these aren't something you can ask about them, but we're not going to be selling them right away. I'm being the test pilot for these. And if they work as well as I expect, uh, based on efficiency ratings, uh, being they're going to be even more efficient than, than what we're offering now. Uh, and we still have a supply chain. They will be added to our website here uh, coming this spring. So let's just cross our fingers. We still have a supply chain with everything going on. But yeah, no, this is um, this just gives an example. And keep in mind, this is only one solar generator. You'd be able to run this furnace with the Energy Flex, with uh, the Blue Eddy AC200, with the, um, the Lion Safari. And that, that can come with two battery packs as well with uh, even some of the smaller solar generators. I don't see why you couldn't because let's, let's use the EcoFlow River Pro as an example. It's 600 watts and then I believe it's 1800 watts surge for their three plugins. So theoretically, you should be able to run that. Actually, I'll do a test on that and see if, if that will work. I'll do that another day as well just to see. But yeah, no, I just wanted to, to show you guys this. Lots of people have asked, can you run your furnace off of a solar generator yes and just to mention this real quick i've talked to a lot of oil and gas people about this um natural gas so let's say electricity goes out natural gas because these are on there's remote pumping stations that are either running these off of um i think it's a combination the solar is probably for the electronics most of them are propane even if things get ugly natural gas will still flow unless somebody destroys the lines for a good two to three months. They're still gonna flow. We're still gonna have natural gas in the city. So that's not a problem with that. But yeah, no, uh, definitely guys. Um, by the way, it's Thanksgiving weekend, US Thanksgiving weekend. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. We had ours earlier. Uh, we're going to, in support of all of our American customers, we're gonna have a turkey tomorrow just to support you because that's we, we, we care that much and I like turkey. But either way, we're gonna be doing that as well. Uh, so yeah, either way, guys, we do offer several solar packages, several uh, solar generator packages. Definitely feel to reach out. We can definitely help you uh, depending on your needs because there's no cookie cutter way to provide power for everybody. Everybody has different needs. And what I've done is I've tried to create several packages based on where I see the needs. 
and you know every month we're coming up with something different on what else we can do to help out as well but this one if you want something portable deployable expandable the ecoflow delta max is one of my favorite ones on the market it's 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 a phenomenal product uh even yeah everything that it offers like you look at all the plugins that it has it has everything it's a very well thought out product they've done a very good job with this definitely an excellent product either way guys i'm gonna let you go have a great rest of your day if you haven't uh yeah enjoy those thanksgiving um leftovers and yeah and the stretchy pants and all that goes with it and the tryptophan dreams have a great day, guys. Any questions, let me know. My name is Rennie. I'm the owner. I'll make sure my phone number and email are on on, uh, on, the, uh, on the links below so that you can actually reach out to us if you have any questions, and I'd be happy to help you out with any of our portable, deployable solar packages and answer any questions. And by the way, I, I, I didn't wire this in. I had a, a competent electrician wire this in, so if you have questions on that, I'm not going to be able to answer it um he, i believe he had some sort of bypass relay or something actually kind of makes sense of some sort of bypass relay and then all i do is if i'm going to run it uh, like i sh had shown you before i just i got to turn off the breaker for the furnace which is clearly labeled so otherwise you're gonna have yeah it won't be good if you have both going at one time so either way enjoy the rest of your day guys we'll talk to you soon and i will get this posted today's saturday i'll get it posted tomorrow for you so you can see it okay we'll talk to you soon bye then